I bought this headband because I saw a lot of people using it using it on the internet uh, but it looks really bad but I'm going to use it in this video because I already bought it so yeah hey everyone how are you hope you're doing really well as you can see in the title today we're filming the update for the deck of panning project this project was created by emily and max i'll leave her channel down in the description box and all the info that you need for this video this is i think the second to last update before the finale so we're super close to the end of this project and i'm nervous because i don't know if i'm going to meet my goals in all of these products but yeah first if you're new here hi welcome to my channel you can call me tanon and i hope you enjoy this video if you like this video please consider subscribing and let's start with this video I'm sure you have heard this a million times, but in case this is the first video that you're seeing of this project, in this project you need a deck of cards, each card has a prompt, and you need to choose a product for each prompt and work on them. Um, I've been working in five products, and today we're going to be rolling out two products, and I'm super excited about that, because I've been working in, this pro in these products for the longest, and at some point i thought that i wasn't going to be able to roll them out never like ever oh but yeah finally we're going to be able to roll them out and draw two new cards to be working in two new products i'm super excited i feel like this is a super fun project because you have like the randomization but with cards and there is a game board i don't know i really love the concept of this video but as always, we're going to be starting talking about the products that I have used the least up to the product up to the products that I have used the most. So let's start with the product that as I said I use the least. First we have this foundation and this is the rejected foundation because for a long time I haven't been wearing this foundation at all, even if this foundation it has been in this project since I introduced it back in April. This product I have used twice, actually I'm using it today and the reason why I haven't been using this product is basically because at some point I was working in four foundations and I'm not good using foundation. I'm a lot better now but usually I don't wear a lot of foundation and this one was not the priority but now this is the only foundation I'll be working on so finally I can focus in this foundation but right now it's a little bit dark for me i'm using this foundation today and i needed to put foundation on my neck and chest because my face looks super dark compared to my neck so yeah right now it's spring here so i supposed to get a little bit of a tan in the next couple of weeks or months so it will be easier for me to use this foundation but yeah it's not too dark but it's darker and you can see it if i don't apply it on my neck and chest at least i need to use more product because i'm trying to cover my neck and chest also not just the face but my goal for this uh, product is to finish it i don't know if i'm going to be able to do that before the end of this project this product feels super light but that is not indication of anything because this is a plastic packaging so it's light I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this foundation before the end of the year I'm hoping so and I think I have used it like 30 times or 27 no I have used it 29 times since I introduced it in this project so we have had good progress on it but yeah this is the first product and we're going to keep working on it probably until the end of this project almost forgot to say that this product was chosen for the prompt of backup but yeah let's move on to the next product the next product i use nine times and that means that most of the products in this project i use pretty often in the last month and i'm happy about that because that way i was able to make good progress on them but the product that i use nine times is this one this is the baking powder banana light from revolution and this product 
it was chosen for the prompt lowest rated and it was so hard to find the product for that prompt but yeah i end up going with this one this is almost brand new on my collection in this project i have used it nine times but i think since i got it i have used it like 11 times or something like that so it's basically brand new um and it's still pretty full I'm not good wearing powders because my skin is mostly dry but this powder I have found a way to use it that I really enjoyed uh, usually like most of the people my concealer creases when I use it on my under eyes and no matter what powder I use or how what technique I used it always creases but I found that if I use this powder in a wet sponge it didn't crease as much or crease at all and I'm super happy about that that I have found a way to use this product that it actually works and that I enjoy the issue is that I don't use concealer that often and most of the time that I use this product is because I'm wearing concealer so it's going to be slow I was hoping to be able to roll it out in two months that means like 15 uses per month but I didn't even use it 10 times in the last month so probably it's going to be here until the end of this project okay the next product is this one this is my ginger bomb lipstick I introduced this product a lot of months ago and I end up hating this lipstick so much I don't know when I introduced this product but at the beginning I set the goal to use it 30 times and then I realized that was not going to be realistic and changed the goal to 20 uses but even that way I use it like two times each month so it was super slow for me to get to the goal but I finally used it the 20 times in the last one I have used it 10 times and I don't know how because I'm saying it I hated this product so much it's not a nice color on me it's a brown but it's kind of an orangey brown or yellowy brown that doesn't look nice on my teeth my, like my teeth looks yellowy with this product so yeah I at the beginning I didn't mind it but the more I use it the least I like it so yeah I'm happy it's finally gone and it's funny because in the last two uses I discovered that if I mix this lipstick with another reddish lipstick that I'm working in another project I can get that reddish tone to a more neutral and nude color actually that is what I'm doing right now on my lips I have this one with another one and I like the effect I don't like this lipstick by its own but mixed with other products, I like what it does. So yeah, I was sure that I was going to declutter this product after this project because as I said, I hated this project, this product. Um, but now that I found a way to use it and that I actually liked, I don't think I'm going to declutter it. But yeah, this is the first product that we're going to be rolling out. I'm super excited about that and I cannot wait to choose a new card to get a new product i'm just hoping that i don't get the joker okay let's move on to the second to last uh, product and we got the prompt like two months ago of pretty packaging and for that i chose a blush palette and from that palette i chose a specific blush that i wanted to hit pan on i don't know why i'm doing this to myself again in this project i already hit pan on a blush and it took me forever but yeah at the end I end up depotting that blush and here it is and it got really really crumbly as you can see no pan yet I'll leave some pictures so we can compare how the blush looked when I introduced it and how it's looking now but yeah even if it's super crumbly I feel like it's going to take me forever to be able to hit pan on this product it's a nice color a nice color for every day it looks super pale for my skin tone but it's a nice color for every day like it has good pigment and i wasn't hoping that from this blush i have used it i think 12 times in the last month yeah i have used it 12 times in the last month for a total of 21 uses i think you'll see that information over here 
and we have seen a difference in the weight of this product but not a lot I was hopeful that I was going to be able to hit pan on this product before this update but that didn't happen now I want to say that we're going to be able to hit pan on it before next update but maybe I'm cheating myself but yeah this product will stay for another month at least Finally, we got the prompt a foundation and for that I chose my pretty fresh tinted moisturizer from Colourpop and this has the same story that the Ginger Bomb uh, lipstick because I said that I wanted to use this product 50 times and then I realized that that was unachievable for me so I changed the goal to 30 uses but even that way it took me forever to be able to hit the uh, the call with this product but in the last month I don't know how I use it 20 times so I met the goal of 30 uses finally this is a product that I don't really enjoy by itself it doesn't have any coverage at least this color on my skin looks like nothing like doesn't cover anything at all but it looks kind of heavy on my skin I don't know how that happens but I really like this product to mix with other foundations and actually I use this product to be able to use a powder foundation and that works really well so yeah it's a product that I don't really enjoy by itself but it has value on my collection and I'm hoping to be able to finish this product soon in 2022 because I have a backup from this product. Now that we cover all the products that I've been working on in the last month, finally we're going to be able to draw two new cards. I haven't seen the prompts and I shuffled these cards while I was waiting for my computer to charge so yeah i'm scared because i don't want to get the joker again i already got it the first time that i filmed this project so let's draw two cards as i said i haven't looked at the prompts yet we're going to be looking at that together so let's choose this one and that is a queen i think that is a graveyard project pan and let's draw okay this one please don't be the joker Okay, a seven of spikes, clubs, spades, how these ones are called. Okay, let's look what those cards mean. I'll leave the game board on the screen while I'm looking for it so you can see the prompts that we have this month. But yeah, let's see. Okay, here we go. First we got the queen and that means, oh, a random color generator. I thought it was the project grave, graveyard, the project graveyard, but no, it's a random color generator. I'm scared because usually on that I chose an eyeshadow to hit pan on, but I'm working in a lot of eyeshadows in my pandas eyeshadows right now. So, well, we'll see. And then we have the seven of pica. In Spanish, to this card we called pica. Your beard tone. Okay, I'm a Taurus. 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 How do you pronounce that? Tauro. In Spanish, we're learning uh, Spanish words today. Pica. Oh well, this is another pica. Pica. Tauro. <laughs> but well, my beard stone, since I'm a Tauro, it's the emerald. To light work in a green eyeshadow. Okay, I need to think about that, but let's look for a color random <laughs> a color random generator so we can see what we're working on. Okay, here it's the color random generator. We're going to refresh and the color that we get is the color we're going to be working on another green mm. so i guess we're going to be working on two greens i'm going to look through my collection to choose the products we're going to be focusing on and i'll be right back okay that was easier than what i was expecting 
it's not going to be easy, don't take me wrong. I'm not good using greens and I chose two green products, but it was easy to choose the products. So first we got uh, the queen and that is a random color generator. If I have to be honest, this is my one of my favorite cards because I feel like a random color generator. It's really fun. Uh, but I got a green. <laughs> I got this shade of green that you will be seeing here. Um, this is a screenshot of the color because sometimes in camera looks different than what I was seeing. And for that, I chose this eyeshadow over here. I feel like it's a really good match because the color that I got, it's a green, but it's kind of a yellowy green. It has more yellow than blue. And I feel like the same happens with this shade. This is Mary Jane from Just My Luck from Colourpop. And I wanted a single because that way it's easier for me to use. Uh, but yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to set the goal to use it uh, 20 times or hit pan on it. I have never hit pan on a Colourpop shimmer or in any color pop shade to be honest but last year i was working in another color pop shade and it got a dip pretty easily i didn't hit pan on it but the dip was pretty fast so maybe we're going to be able to hit pan on it i don't know but the goal will be to use it 20 times or hit pan on it and then i got the card seven of pika i think it's spades or something like that and that was my birdstone and bad news for me because my birdstone is the emerald and the emeralds are green so another green product and for that i was thinking that i was going to choose a green eyeshadow i was thinking in a darker green since that is what i think when i'm thinking of emeralds and that way i was going to be able to use it as a wing liner or something like that but i decided to go with an eyeliner yeah, I don't know if this is going to be a good idea or not. I think I have used this product like twice since I got it. But this is from Essence in the color. I have a green and it's a really nice color, kind of shimmery. I don't know if you can see it. Um, but yeah, the goal will be the same to use it 20 times. And that is going to be pretty good because as I said, not good wearing greens and green eyeliners but yeah that's everything for today i don't know if we're going to be able to roll out anything next update maybe we're going to be able to hit pan on the blush but i'm not sure i'm hoping that we're able but yeah i don't want to make this video any longer so <laughs> let me know if you're doing this project how are you doing if you're doing a different project which one it is and how are you doing too I'm nervous for this update like this next month because I have a lot of greens and I feel like nothing that I'm working on right now works with the greens so we'll see what happens in next update <sighs> but yeah I think the only thing that we're going to be able to hit pan on is going to be the blush and the rest of the things probably we're going to be working on until the end of this project in December. But yeah, that's everything. If you like this video, please consider subscribing. I will love that and I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!